Oh my god, getting dizzy here. <laughs> Way to be very realistic game, but that's awesome at the same time. <laughs> there was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Ooh, there's explosions going on over there. There's like a war down there. I mean, you barely want it, but let's climb. <laughs> oh. And slowly. Something's here. Could this really be it? Could be. Only one way to find out. Glow sick time. Yay! I love the glow sick because it's blue. Kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word. Well, me neither. <gasps> Prophet! This is it. Dad was right. <sighs> it's true. All of it. Oh. The graphics on this is just, I'm sorry. I, I need to like calm down the graphics, but it's just so beautiful. It feels so real. Like, I feel like I'm okay. in this place. He's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Some sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out. Hmm. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople. Constantinople. Unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Ooh. Wait, I want to be able to read this monolith, so I'm gonna see if I can get some other stuff to read he here. He led his followers through the desert, to the oasis. Oh, yay. Greek, level one. Now I can read the monolith. No sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. <gasps> Let's go. Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. <sighs> They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. Ooh, trophy. Great. Okay, we can proceed through this part. Uh, one thing I did remove was the glowy yellow thing, so now I have to discover things on my own. I don't want to cheat my way through. I like the idea of exploring for real. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. <sighs> Only dad could have seen this. It's amazing indeed. I really wish I could someday just go on an adventure like this. Oh my god, okay. I thought I fell down. But I just got excited by the moment. Go on an adventure like this and just explore around and jump like this. Obviously, I know I can't jump like this at all, but. Would still be really cool. Oh 
Oh no. That was an helicopter. Where is it? Oh. They're already here. Got to get inside. Oh. There it goes, that was ruins. <sighs> Hopefully they didn't notice us even though a giant thing just fell down. The Order of Trinity pursued the problem. Oh. Thought it was a mouse. Relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Wow, the spider webs. See that level of detail I just left. Don't get scared. Damn it. You're gonna Come be okay. On. Well, now I'm scared. <laughs> Ew. Ew, it just went through the mouth of the skeleton. See, this is why I can't do PlayStation VR at all. Well, there's a lot of dead people. There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. <gasps> Found something there. I like exploring around. Let's see what can we find. Dead skeletons, dead skeletons, dead skeletons. Ooh. My son. I bet you first. Speak. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb. At an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. Okay, we're not gonna put all of that because it's very slow. But the it does give us a little glimpse. Slain by the Order of Trinity. So. Oh, I see the prophets down there, huh? And this before Trinity. So Trinity, all these years has lasted. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Damn it. Oh my that was god! Too close. You tell me. That was awfully close. They're blasting their way in. Typical. <laughs> that is so typical of these people. Just blasting their way through ruins in every game, in Uncharted, in Tomb Raider. This works. Yeah, get on that boat. <laughs> There we go. Simple enough. Whee! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why so much stress? Already? <laughs> breathe, Lara, breathe. We'll be okay. We'll be okay, hopefully. Ooh, there it is. 
Stunning. We made it, Dad. Sweet temple. I just want to close up. I don't want to really cheat it. But it looks beautiful. Oh, it's actually underwater section. You know, usually games don't put you underwater stuff so early, but this one really went for it. Also, my hair is wet. That's great detail. And the clothes. If I see something that I had to break, I'll break it. That's the rule I have. Now we go up here. How about now? Oh, do I have to pull this down? Why don't you just jump for it? Jumping for it again. Oh, there's no turning back on that one. See if we can get up here. Ah, this is very good. Oh, there's a little can here. Nah, we're good. Okay. So. Oh! I mean, that's not really important, but this little thingy there. The more, the merrier. Okay. Um. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> Alright. Set the final charge. Damn! They're almost inside. Crap. We gotta hurry up then. No falling down now, Laura. It's in here. Nope. <gasps> I like the quick pace. Although, it can go wrong too. This looks fancy, no? Aw. Oh, there it is. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. So, they're discussing whether the Prophet, prophet died or not, I guess. Interesting. I'm definitely putting my bet that he's still out there. Hey, money! Let's open this up, because everything that we need to break, we definitely break. No, I'm not gonna activate survival anything, and stop telling me to do it. Okay, I'm drowning myself here, but, you know. What is exactly this gonna help me on? Well, now what? I actually don't know where to go now. Oh, this guy. No. Oh, I see. <laughs> don't know what that's supposed to help on, though. Um... No, I can't- I can't do anything from this side. Oh, I see, I see. There we go. Whew, that was close. Man, that was quick thinking there. You don't press it correctly, you're doomed. Oh, I see. Ah. 
Seems to me the same result, but I guess this time we did drive more water in. Ah, there we go. Well, I'll take it. Sorry. Hey, it's down here. Oh. Well, hello. Set the charges. Commander. Ah, oh, they're going to blow the place up. Interesting. Prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. <laughs> Open. Yeah, these people are weird. Carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Shot. Let's go. <laughs> running, 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 running. Please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Running, 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 running. <gasps> Wee! Running, running, running. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Run! What's this? It's a cross. That was amazing. Really? Croft Manor. We can't wait to explore Croft Manor on the DLC. <gasps> Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? 
They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is oh, going dear. on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... It would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you That's too powerful. Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming <sighs> yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. Ouch. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. This is so emotional, like, like I'm silent, worried for Lara myself here. Jonah? Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Yep. So it is then. You can't let the bad guys have that. And that's how it all started. <gasps> Hear me. Go back. Please don't try to find me. I need to do this alone. The expressions of this character are amazing. Thank you for watching this second episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Stay tuned for more for part 3 in this very, very exciting game. And be sure to check out our previous first part and our boxing of the game too. See you next time.